Hey guys, today I'll be going over how to taxi, take off, and land in the A10. So to taxi, first you need to turn on the nose wheel steering. What you do is you press this button down here for your pinky, and then when I click that, you can see this light turns on here that says steering engaged. So now, whenever I move my rudder pedals, you can see it will move the nose wheel. Then to taxi, all you do is move the throttles a little bit forward, and you will start moving. If you need to stop, you can move the throttle back and press down on these foot brakes right here. When you're taxiing, make sure you don't go too fast when you turn or you could flip over. Okay, now we are lined up with the runway. Before we take off, we need to lower our flaps. You can do that by coming over here to the throttle and you can see there's a switch right there. We need to put it to the middle position like that. You can also verify that the flaps are lowered by looking at this gauge here. You can see it's at 10 degrees. The other thing we need to do is make sure our stick is trimmed out. What you do is come here and hold this button till the green light comes on. That means we are trimmed. So now for takeoff, you're just going to release the brakes and move the throttle all the way forward. And then at about 130, 140 knots, you're going to pull up and lift off the runway. Now the speed at which you pull up will depend. For example, I have, I'm pretty light right now, but if this plane was heavy because I loaded a bunch of weapons, then maybe I would have to be going a little bit faster before I can take off. By the way, you can see your speed by looking at this number here. The last thing to mention is that once you're going really fast, you might want to turn off the nose wheel steering. And the reason for that is if you accidentally press the rudder pedals very abruptly while you're going fast, you could flip over if the nose wheel steering is on. All right, let's take off now. I'll move the throttles all the way forward and I'll start moving down the runway. Okay, you can see I'm going pretty fast now, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the nose wheel steering. So now I'm about 130 knots. I'm going to pull back on the stick. And you can see I lifted off the runway. The A10 is super easy to take off. Now all you do is raise your landing gear by clicking that lever. Then you can raise your flaps all the way up. And that's how you take off. Okay, let's go over landing now. Landing is pretty easy too. First, make sure you're under 250 knots and then you can lower the landing gear. If you need to help yourself slow down, you can use the speed brakes. The speed brakes are these things on the wings that open up here like this. You can open and close the speed brakes using this switch on your throttle right here. Whenever you get pretty close to the runway, we can go ahead and lower our flaps to the middle position. And now we are almost lined up with the runway, so let's lower our flaps all the way to the landing position. You can see the gauge is 20 degrees there. So now you just put the velocity vector on the runway. The velocity vector is this circle here with the three lines sticking out. Altitude, altitude. And while you're landing, there will be this gauge here. You want to make sure you just see the circle. That means that you are at the right angle. So you see, I need to pull back a little bit here so I can get the circle, and now I'm at the right angle for landing. Then just use your throttle to make sure you don't go too slow and just touch down gently. As you can see, when I'm getting close to the runway, I'm just going to make sure I touch down gently. I'll bring my throttle all the way back. And there we go. Once I've touched down, I'm going to open my speed brakes all the way to help me slow down and gently put the nose wheel onto the runway. Then you can use your pedal brakes to slow you down even more. And when you're slow enough, you can go ahead and turn on the nose wheel steering. And that is how you land. 